But we have yet to see Purdue head football coach Daryl Hazel in action on the gridiron, but that doesn't mean the Boiler football team is resting during the offseason. No, sir. In fact, that's the last thing they're doing. Early morning workouts have become a standard with Coach Hazel, and Sports 18's Ross Bolin is live at the Mollenkopf Athletic Center for a glimpse of these workouts and to talk to Coach Daryl Hazel himself. Good morning, Ross and Coach Hazel. Good morning, Jamie and Liz. For the last three weeks, the Purdue Boilermakers have enjoyed morning conditioning sessions, and today, in a little over an hour, the Boilermakers will wrap up their morning conditioning. Purdue head coach Daryl Hazel joins me live now. Coach, first of all, thank you very much for the time up bright and early. We appreciate it. Three weeks with your team on the field doing conditioning. What's kind of stood out to you about this group? Well, I think they figured out how to work hard. And that was uh, an eye opener for them the first couple of days, but uh, in the last seven or, eight, seven or eight workouts, they've worked extremely hard for us. Spring practice for you begins on March the 19th. A little bit of time in between now and then. How excited are you to get on the field and, and get going here? I'm very anxious to find out what kind of football team we have. It's going to be a, a neat spring, just trying to figure out our personnel and our schemes, and it's going to be a lot of excitement. Have they adapted well to you so far? Well, I think so. I, I don't know if they have a choice. Uh, our staff has done a great job of trying to get to know these guys, and uh, it's been fun to get to know these guys. The spring game is set for April the 13th at Ross Aid Stadium, a place you've called the Furnace. How hot can we expect the spring game to be? Well, I, I hope we get it extremely hot in the springtime, but when the fall rolls around, that thing better be boiling. When, when, you, uh, when you came to Purdue, there was a lot of talk about the hat and hazeling. Our morning crew has had a lot of fun. They, they've debated on who came up with the term hazeling. Just, just talk about the hat and how much fun everybody's having with that. Well, I, I think you, uh, you deem the term the hazeling. Uh, I'm not sure who, who deemed that term, but uh, I hope everybody's wearing their hat in the, uh, in the furnace. Jamie and Liz, did you hear that? Ex actually, it was me who came up with the term hazeling, Coach Hazel, uh, making that abundantly clear. Coach, thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the way as you get ready for your first full season as the Purdue head coach. Thanks so much. Come watch us. Absolutely. Coach Hazel, thank you very much. Reporting live at Mollenkopf Athletic Center, Ross Bolin, Sports 18. Okay, Ross, I think we'll agree to disagree on who came up with hazeling with the hat. It's going to become a Twitter phenomenon, I'm just saying. I'm going to let it go because <laughs> I really do think – that no. we were talking about the commercial. Okay, we need to stop because this will be a, <laughs> this will be a we don't have enough time in the show. <laughs> we'll move on.